So your alkalinity is low and you're planning on increasing it with soda ash. Is soda ash the right tool for the job? How much should you add? Find out in this video. Hi there, I'm Louis from Pool Advisor and this video is all about using soda ash in your swimming pool. So should I be using soda ash to increase alkalinity in my swimming pool? Soda ash um, is, is another name for sodium carbonate and it is great at increasing alkalinity, but be aware that it will add the carbonate form of alkalinity, not the bicarbonate form that you get with baking soda. As soda ash has a natural pH of over 12, when you add it to your water, um, it will actually substantially raise the, the pH in addition to the alkalinity. So you'll see a nice boost in alkalinity, but you'll also see a, a big increase in pH as well. And if you're not careful, it can really, um, you can overshoot your pH and um, you have it way above the, the recommended level of where it should be. So it's really a useful, um, it's a useful chemical if your pH and alkalinity are both quite low. If your pH is already basically where it should be or, or just slightly too low, I would actually consider using um, baking soda or sodium bicarbonate rather than soda ash, which is known as sodium carbonate. So if you've decided you're gonna use soda ash, how much of it should you add? Well, the amount that you should add to your pool depends on a few different factors, such as pool volume, um, your current pH, your current alkalinity, and the target alkalinity that you want to, to reach um, by the time you're, you're finished adding the, the soda rush. Because this varies pool to pool, it's um, very difficult to tell people exactly how much they should add for their pool. And, and for that reason, I've made an alkalinity calculator, which lets you work out exactly how much soda ash you should add to your pool to get it in the right range. And we'll take a look at that right now. So here is the alkalinity calculator over at pooladvisor.com.au and there'll be a link to this in the description below. So you just scroll down to here and the first thing you wanna do is enter your pool volume in liters. So for a 70,000 liter pool, you simply just type that in, enter your current pH. So you had pH that was, um, that was quite, quite low, say you're just sitting, sitting on seven and your current alkalinity concentration was uh, say 65 and you'd like to get that up to, for example, um, get that up to 90. That tells you how much alkalinity is required, um, but keep in mind that um, sodium carbonate or soda ash doesn't, isn't comprised purely of alkalinity. Um, it also contains sodium there as well. So we need to work out exactly how much of this sodium, soda ash product we need to, work, um, to add to achieve these parameters you've, you've set here. So we click on soda ash, and then we need to um, enter the active ingredient concentration of our product. And this is usually pretty high and then something that you can find on the packaging. So if it was 95% or pure of soda ash, we type 95 in here and it would tell us that we need to add two kilograms in to lift our alkalinity from 65 up to 90. Now, you'll see here that it's actually telling us the final pH we're gonna end up with is 9.3, which is way too high for a swimming pool. And that's not where we want to be. And that's why in this situation, Soda ash is probably not the best tool for the job. And you'd actually want to use something like baking soda. If we use baking soda, we would need more of it. We need 3.1 kilograms, but we'd actually end up with a final pH of just 7.2, not 9.3 like we saw before. But if our pH for some reason had dropped really low or something, um, I don't know if it had dropped down to like six or something like that, or maybe not quite that low if it had been like 6.5 or something, you can see that, um, if the pH started at 6.5, it would end up at 7.1 by the time we finished dosing enough um, soda ash to lift our alkalinity up to 90. And in that case, um, soda ash would be a great tool for the job because if we only added baking soda, we would barely change our pH. We'd only go from 6.5 up to 6.6. .6. And, th and that's really where soda ash shines. When you're looking at pH that's probably le less than seven to start with, um, that's when there's a good time to add soda ash. Otherwise, I would stick with baking soda. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, please let me know what you thought of the calculator. If you've tried it out, leave a comment um, on this video. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'd love to get your feedback, incorporate that into the calculator and make it even better. So yeah, please let me know what you thought of it. Thanks.